Hi, this is Galit Gopar. Thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about how to reduce food consumption during a uh, coronavirus lockdown. So there are currently over 3 billion people around the world that are in coronavirus lockdown and normal routines are put aside and regular activities are not possible for the most of us. Now, for most people, these unprecedented and very unsettling circumstances lead to excessive visits to the refrigerator and the kitchen. <laughs> now, many people are complaining about weight gain because they are at home all day with nothing much to do. <clears throat> and it doesn't have to be this way. So here are seven tips to help you control your eating while in lockdown. Number one. If you desire to reduce the amount of food you are eating, mostly unconsciously, I recommend that you do not keep any snacks at home. I know this may sound a little extreme, but it's really very, very good to do it. This way you will have to do some sort of preparation and to exert some sort of effort before you can eat food. Preparation is a great deterrent for most people to stop eating all day. When you have snacks around, you just open the the cupboard or the refrigerator door and you open the package of processed food and you eat it and this makes weight gain very uh, prevalent very easy as well the food needs no effort to prepare and is available and ready to eat at any time of day now these snacks include yogurts even the natural ones uh, of all types small energy bars are also considered snacks of course chocolate Although I do recommend that you keep some dark chocolate, at least 85% for consumption if when you feel like you want something very sweet. That is not considered as a snack. But having chocolate, uh, different types of chocolate around the house is of course not good. And, and the usual snacks and bags, you don't want to have those around. So just decide to rid your home of all snacks and instead fill up your kitchen with fruits, many many fruits lots of vegetables whole grains and lentils um, perishable non-perishable foods or you can have frozen and cooked beans um, as well as some nuts uh, preferably non-roasted nuts and tahini great snacks that are healthy and will not lead to weight gain include apples uh, peeled carrots peppers cherry tomatoes bananas dates natural nuts that are not roasted or salted which makes them very irresistible and difficult to stop eating even when you're not hungry i also recommend buying fruits and vegetables in bulk so that you don't become stingy and you look oh i have only two more bananas left i won't eat one now so when you have them in abundance in the house you will eat them also in abundance and this will keep you healthy and uh, will keep you slim i know that money is a consideration for most people at, at this time and this is why i also think that it is best to buy directly from farmers doing home deliveries i'm sure you can find local growers selling their produce with home deliveries at this time. These vegetables are usually much cheaper as there is no middleman. They are also very high in nutrients as they haven't been sitting on, on the shelf for a long time and they are an excellent opportunity to consume more fresh food picked straight from the field. It is also noteworthy to know that if you consume a lot of foods rich in nutrients, your real need, your body's need food will decrease and your appetite will decrease as well. At the same time, you will be ensuring that you are caring for your health and boosting your immune system. The simple foods I mentioned before are rich in antioxidants and phytonutrients and will help keep you healthy at a time when you are all day indoors with little opportunity to go out for fresh air. Now I also want to add that even if you are not physically active during this time, although I do not recommend this, you will not gain weight if you are eating the right foods. You will simply notice more elimination happening at least two to three times a day. If you uh, can afford it, I would order a walking machine and walk daily at home while you are listening to different books or uh, through Audible or while you are listening to YouTube or simply talking on the phone. 
physical activity keeps your body functioning at its best and a walk a day is vital for your physical and mental health. It is also vital to consume sufficient carbohydrates. Very, very important. However, all carbohydrates should, should be consumed in their whole uh, form. Consuming whole grains should not be too difficult to do during this time since you are uh, only eating at home and you are the only one who decides which foods to buy for your home. So also there is less temptation for exter from external sources. Carbohydrates are so important at this time. They will help you keep your mood up and they will help you keep yourself full and they are rich in fibers. Um, also, potatoes will calm your body and your mind and help you feel in a better mood as all carbohydrates will. I recommend avoiding all diets that remove carbohydrate rich foods now. Definitely, you want to consume sufficient carbohydrates in the form of whole grains of any sort, including gluten-free. Then you are caring for your needs of your brain and your muscles. If you consume whole grain carbohydrates and not simple carbohydrates like sugar or white fine uh, grains, then you do not need to worry about gaining weight as whole grains and potatoes are rich in fiber, which helps you feel full faster. And uh, with the right carbohydrates, you will automatically uh, feel less desire to eat. Okay, now also it, it, uh, it is very important to note that the fiber uh, is food for the healthy microbiome in your gut. Um, they also need food to thrive these uh, bacteria in your gut and you definitely want these bacteria to have enough food to fight, help you fight off disease at this time. Therefore, you definitely want to consume high fiber uh, carbohydrate rich foods. The foods that you do consume, although they should require some amount of preparation, do not have to be very complicated to prepare. At least two meals can be more manageable to make, like a sandwich from whole grain or sprouted bread with hummus or avocado and a sliced tomato and a dash of lemon is a great meal. Oatmeal with sugar-free plant-based milk or some fruit with some fruit and uh, or uh, sugar-free jam or honeycomb to sweeten is another simple meal to prepare requiring no cooking at all. Also a fruit shake is excellent. Use uh, bananas, strawberries and other forest berries of all sorts. You can buy them frozen in the supermarket or you can add a pear or an apple as well and you have a wonderful meal. You may also want to add some superfood powders like spirulina or tahini to add protein to your shake meal and you're ready to go. This way you have at least half of your meals mostly raw and the rest of your meals are cooked and the raw meals usually produce much less dishes to wash afterwards. Now in the cooked meals, you can make easy to uh, prepare lentil soups each time from a different lentil. You may wish to cook your uh, with your kids healthy and easy to prepare uh, muffins or pancakes. Whole grain spaghetti with fresh tomato sauce is great with peas for added protein. Uh, potatoes in the oven. Uh, with added tomatoes and onions for flavor. Mushrooms are a great side dish that add many nutrients to your meal. I also like to add a raw element to the cooked meals in the form of a salad. Even a leafy green salad with cherry tomatoes and onion slices with a dash of lemon, um, garlic and mustard as a dressing. Nobody smells you anyway now that we're in uh, <laughs> quarantine. so. These are excellent and delicious meals. Um, also, uh, chopped tomatoes, cucumbers, and different colored peppers are great salad. Just add lemon juice and some salt for the flavoring. Uh, so I hope these suggestions have helped you understand how you can control your weight easily while you're housebound. So I wish you much health during these unfamiliar times. Uh, very best wishes from me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, please visit my website at www.thegorillediet.com for lots of health and nutritional information as well. And please feel free to comment on this video about what you like best. Thank you very much.